All right, well, I guess I'll get started. Uh, okay. My name is Nathan Woodworth. I am the president and CEO of James E. Wagner Cultivation Corporation. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for having me by to speak this afternoon. I'm going to be speaking about uh, family, about technology, uh, and of course about cannabis. JWC became a public company in June of 2018. Uh, we went public through an RTO with the AIM-1 Capital Pool Company. We trade on the TSXV under the symbol JWCA and on the OTCQX under the symbol JWCAF. Today, our market cap is approximately 28.9 million U.S. dollars. Over the last few quarters, we've seen rapid revenue growth that has uh, allowed us to forecast that we're going to be moving to a cash flow positive position in the first calendar quarter of 2020. JWC is a family company. We're founded by a family of patients and growers. We formed a collective of uh, such under the MMAR. We have been growing using a wide variety of methods for over a decade. Today, we are a leading Canadian licensed cultivator of cannabis. We use a unique proprietary patent pending aeroponic growth method, which we call the Growth Storm Dual Droplet System. This has allowed us to be one of the leading efficient producers of clean and consistent cannabis. Additionally, we had the opportunity to license this technology around the world, and our first international pilot project is already underway. As we take the Growth Storm uh, platform to the global stage, we're targeting an uplisting onto a national U.S. exchange in the first half of 2020. Despite the negative news cycle recently, it's an exciting time to be a part of the cannabis industry in Canada. Uh, many estimate that by 2024, retail and medical sales will be worth about $7.6 billion. By 2020, it's expected that there may be as much as 1.1 million metric tons of demand for cannabis. Of course, the growth storm system has a lot of important implications outside of the cannabis industry. We believe that this can be one of the most efficient ways to grow a wide variety of crops. The global agricultural product and technology market is estimated to reach as much as $730 billion by 2023. It's been an interesting year in Canadian cannabis. Uh, almost a year ago today saw the uh, legalization of recreational cannabis in Canada. And tomorrow we enter into legalization 2.0, uh, which brings us concentrates, edibles, and vape cartridges. We have seen an increasing focus on health and wellness, seeing cannabis as a medical alternative to opioids and other pharmaceutical products. Recently, 16% of Canadians reporting consuming cannabis in the previous three months. Of those, 44% reported consuming it at least once per week, with 52% reported consuming it daily. This is driving an increasing demand for consistent cannabis brands for both recreational and medical use. JWC was founded as a family business based on family values. We consider it our mission to support the health of our medical patients and to serve the needs of our recreational consumers. It's our job to educate consumers, patients, and the industry in general about the tangible advantages that an advanced cultivation technology such as the Growth Storm system can provide. Through that technology, we are able to cultivate clean, consistent, recreational and medical cannabis at scale. Today, we have 110,000 square feet of licensed space in Kitchener, Ontario, with plans through retrofit to bring that total to over 360,000 square feet. We can achieve a smooth path to scale because of our unique proprietary aeroponic growing technology. Aeroponics is based on research pioneered by NASA, and the Growth Storm system has been engineered over the course of a decade of research to be specific for cannabis. 
this system eliminates a tremendous number of variables and reveals the benefits of having total control over the cultivation cycle. The Growth Storm Dual Droplet System is the cornerstone of our suite of advanced cultivation technologies. Aeroponics implies that the roots of the plant hang freely inside an enclosure. They are misted with a specialized nutrient solution. That nutrient solution is housed in a series of distributed reservoirs. These distributed reservoirs are spread throughout our facility and allow us to track to the microgram how much nutrition each of our plants consumes. This allows us to achieve an ideal balance of air, water, and nutrients at the root surface and dramatically improves overall plant health and growth. Today there are a tremendous number of different cultivation solutions employed by licensed producers throughout Canada, but only the Growth Storm system contains the possibility of continuous high yields, consistent product quality through the balanced availability of all growth requirements achieved through the precise standardization of nutrient applications, which further allows us to eliminate all of the potential contaminants within our system. Although the Growth Storm Dual Droplet System is the core of our suite of advanced technologies, it begins with an, a superior cloning technology. This low-cost, high-density method allows us to house 40 cuttings per square foot with a success rate of 98% after just 14 days. Our Tempest trimmer is a, uh, an automated hand trimming device which allows us to, rapid, to drastically increase the speed of harvest while maintaining the maximum quality of our output product. All of these technologies rely on the growth storm management software which tracks all of our inventory, collects hundreds of data points every day about each of the plants in our facilities and helps us to manage all of our compliance activities. This allows us to lead the industry in yield per plant. The second highest reported yield per plant among Canadian producers is 150 grams, whereas JWC maintains an average of 261 grams. <clears throat> in January of 2017, we began producing cannabis at our pilot facility. This 15,000 square foot facility has five flowering rooms and is capable of producing 1,250 kilograms per year. Because it shares its genetic uh, library with JWC2, we have access to 50 unique strains. This is the first facility in the world where the growth storm technology was fully integrated. Over the course of managing that integration, we developed a series of new innovations, intelligent building management systems, air handling devices, all of which we took with us when we planned our implementation into our flagship facility, JWC2. There we began construction in July of 2018. As of April 2019, we achieved licensing on our Phase 1A area. This section contains eight flowering rooms, one large vegetative space, and all of the auxiliary production areas required for production at full scale in this facility. As a result, Phase 2 consists only of six large flowering rooms, adding an additional 40,000 square feet of licensed space. Phase 3 and 4 will see us build out the rest of our facility, adding 24, 000, 24 large flowering rooms and 200,000 square feet of additional space. In total, we will have 360,000 square feet of cultivation area, able to produce 36,500 kilograms per year. When we look beyond the horizon of the development of these two facilities, we see that JWC has the ability to generate an additional revenue and expand the growth storm footprint on the global scale by licensing our unique suite of solutions and technologies. Each of our licensees gains use of the proprietary growth storm technologies at their own facility and the support of the operational and strategic consulting services that we have developed in our years of experience at JWC. Through the development of an ever-expanding vocabulary of plant data, we will be able to continue adv to advance the state of aeroponic technology. As we continue to push out new advances, our licensees will have access to ongoing technology updates. 
within Canada, licensees will be supported by our compliance department as they go through the process of obtaining their own license. For each of the licensees that JWC signs up, we expect to receive between 7 and 20 percent of the total, uh, um, total gross production through either a streaming or royalty arrangement. All of this is made possible by the backing of a robust IP portfolio. We have four patents pending with the Canadian Intellectual Property Office. The Growth Storm commercial platform, the Dual Droplet system, our cloning apparatus, the, and the Tempest trimmer. Through an international PCT, we have retroactive protection in a wide variety of international arenas, extending back to the filing of the original patent in Canada. As we have grown our business over the last few years, we have selectively established relationships with key industry leaders. Perhaps the most important of these is Canopy Growth Corp. Um, through their investment arm, Canopy Rivers, they have made significant investments into JWC in the form of both equity and royalty arrangements on production from our pilot facility. We also have an offtake agreement with Canopy Growth Corp, under which they sell our products through the Craft Grow marketplace, branded as JWC products. Additionally, Canopy Rivers has supported us through introductions to other companies within the portfolio. Uh, Terrasend uh, and JWC have established a um, sales uh, and purchase agreement uh, by which Terrasend purchases packaged goods from JWC for sale on their medical marketplace. In combination with the Craft Grow program, Terrasend's medical marketplace, and JWC's medical exposure, we have one of the largest medical exposures of any company in Canada. We have also uh, formed an important business relationship with our main construction company, Ball Construction. They have developed the expertise to build world-class cultivation facilities and integrate the growth storm system uh, smoothly and functionally at any scale. They have also provided us a revolving line of credit for up to $5 million to expedite the build-out of JWC2. As a result, JWC has a four-part revenue model. We are able to sell product to our own medical patients through our own web portal and through the web portals of our partner companies to their medical patients. We also look forward to seeing our products listed in the Canadian recreational market uh, in the next couple of months. And of course, we look forward to the opportunity to license our technology on the global scale and increase our revenues uh, through that avenue. Right now, uh, there are uh, quite a few um, competing cannabis companies producing cannabis in Canada. Uh, many of them have comparable market caps to JWC. Uh, on this list, uh, Sugarbud and Indiva both use aeroponic techniques to produce canna cannabis. Sugarbud has to date uh, not produced any crops, uh, whereas Indiva has uh, registered an average yield of 38 to 70 grams. No other company in Canada is able to produce as much cannabis per plant as JWC. And of course, no other company has the ability to license their unique technology uh, and uh, create additional revenue thereby. As you can see from this chart, uh, JWC, with a relatively low market cap, is nonetheless competitively positioned in terms of our ability to produce uh, a total of uh, 9,500 kilograms of cannabis per year. And our price to sales ratio makes us a terrific value at this time. In fiscal Q3, we saw revenues up 32% sequentially to $750,000. Our net loss was down 87% to just $434,000. These elements combined with rapid growth at both of our facilities have allowed us to provide a forecast. In fiscal Q4 of 2019, we will be positive net and comprehensive income. Uh, as of Q1 2020, we're going to be revenue positive. Uh, driven by positive net and comprehensive income on the back of strong gross margins. Fiscal Q2 2020, we will be revenue positive. We're going to be generating positive cash flow, and we're going to be positive net and comprehensive income with ever-growing margins. An 
exciting time recently at JWC. In September, we experienced our record monthly harvest of over 300 kilograms of cannabis. In June, we got our approval from Health Canada to produce and sell oils. Over the summer, we signed a purchase and supply agreement with Terrascent, where they are, whereby they sell uh, our JWC branded dried flower products and cannabis oils through their medical storefront. We also completed our first international shipment of the Growth Storm dual droplet system to our technology partner, uh, Ascendo Group, in South Africa. As of Friday last week, we approved, was received approval from Health Canada for the remainder of our Phase two production capacity, doubling our current license production capacity and increasing our square footage to 44,500 square foot of flowering rooms. As of today, 50% of that space is filled and operational. We expect to be completely operational in all of our production spaces by sometime next week. The future holds a lot of important catalysts for JWC and for the Canadian cannabis industry. We have strong existing strategic partnerships with industry leaders, which are going to drive growth in investment, sales, and marketing. We have the ability to continue to advance our proprietary growth storm technology, which will continue to yield increased efficiencies. As we build out the rest of our JWC2 facility, we will see improvements in gross margin and increased access to the economies of scale. Around the globe, we see increased acceptance of legalization, which is going to drive licensing revenues for our unique technologies. I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time uh, to listen to my presentation today. I think the key takeaways here are really uh, that JWC has a proprietary aeroponic technology, which has wide-ranging applications well beyond the cannabis industry. We lead the industry in quality and yield. We have important strategic partners in Canopy Rivers, Canopy Growth Corp, and Terrasent. Our company is led by a highly experienced group of operators who continue to execute on our business plan, driving strong financial growth and a truly positive outlook. At this point, if anybody had any questions, I would be happy to take some time and answer them. Which is fair. Um, it's unfortunate we can't bring any of our products down. Growing some really uh, amazing stuff uh, in the grow rooms right now. Uh, you know, although I'm the CEO of uh, JWC, uh, I'm also uh, a grower. I was our first grower in our collective and have been growing for many years. Uh, and uh, although I love the business side of things uh, and have, uh, you know, grown to enjoy that aspect of the job, uh, I truly feel most at home in the grow room. Uh, right today, actually, we're preparing to harvest a beautiful room of uh, OG Kush. OG Kush is a pretty standard strain. Uh, you know, I'm sure the majority of dispensaries here in Los Angeles carry it in one form or another. But it's always been a longtime favorite of mine. And uh, we finally found uh, a really good cut uh, with a strong limonene backing, uh, you know, beta carophyllene to give it that Kush flavor. Uh, I think it's really going to be a home run. Uh, and, uh, you know, in our vocabulary of 50 different cultivars, uh, we now have uh, a wide variety that are really going to be tremendously successful. Uh, so the technology in combination with the access to the right genetics are something that's going to really drive uh, our early entry uh, into the recreational marketplace in Canada, which I'm very excited about. I could go on and talk about cannabis for a long time, but uh, perhaps that's enough if nobody has uh, any questions. I see you guys would recommend me talking about anything else. <laughs> All right. Thanks, folks.